Giant eyes, a giant eyes, you're a giant eyes, a baby. <laughs> Welcome to HSI Professional. I'm Gia Vittoria. Today we're going to talk about how to use your blow dryer. This is the Dry Anizer 5500. This is an ionic dryer, so it helps to eliminate frizz and promotes a nice sleek finish. When blow drying your hair, you're going to want to make sure to protect it with a thermal protectant spray. This is our Argon Oil Thermal Protectant Spray. So you're just going to want to spray this all over your hair while it's still wet before you blow dry. You can also use a leave-in treatment like our Argon Oil. It's also good to use some sort of oil. This is our leave-in treatment Argon Oil. I like to put just a small amount of this in my palms and run it through the bottoms of my hair. Make sure not to put it directly on the top or else your hair will look greasy. So you're going to want to start by choosing a brush. You can use many different brushes when blow drying. If you use a round brush, you'll get a nice finished look. If you're just looking for a quick blow dry, you can choose something like this vent brush which will help you get a nice, fast dry. So when holding your blow dryer, you can hold it a few different ways. I like to hold my blow dryer in my right hand and my brush in my left. You can hold your blow dryer by the handle and then use the two to pick up the hair. Personally, I like to hold my blow dryer by the head. That way I have these fingers free and I can use them to pick up the hair and place my brush in the hair. This way my hands are constantly free and I can use them without having to sit the blow dryer down. This will make it a lot easier for blow drying on yourself. So if you're having a difficult time getting your blow dryer to turn on, there is so much power in the cord that it often trips the outlet. You can use the reset button on your dryer and if that doesn't work, you may need to use the reset button on the outlet as well. When cleaning your blow dryer, you're going to want to take a warm, damp cloth just to wipe down the outside of the dryer. You also, every once in a while, need to clean the back of the dryer. So you can just twist it, take the cap off, make sure you clean any lint out that's in here, and you can also wash this under water. Just make sure that you do not place this back on the device wet. And never turn the device on if there's moisture in the back here. You can also clean out any lint that's in the front. Just make sure that when you're cleaning your dryer, you wait until it's completely cool. So when storing your blow dryer, there's a nice little loop on the end that you can hang on the back of a hook if you want to hang this up somewhere in your bathroom or in your closet. Now HSI has this handy little strap on all of our dryers. So you can simply fold your cord. And if you keep the cord folded, every time you go to fold the cord, it will make it much easier. Once you have your cord all folded up, simply take the strap, wrap it around, and Velcro it in place. Now your dryer is ready to be stored. If you wrap the cord around your dryer, you must be very careful that you do not pull on this and that there is no strain on the bottom of the cord. This can cause your blow dryer to short out, to fray, or possibly stop working altogether. So be very careful about the way that you store your cord.